17 are joining. 18. You homes Christian joined. So we're just going to wait a minute just for a few more people to join and yeah, we're ready. And we're ready to go. Hi, my name is Ashley. I am the manager here at Beckett House. I am delighted that you have joined us today. Um, I'm going to show you around our fabulous building, introduce you to some of our team, um, uh, especially our most important team, our lovely house pets. Um, I'm going to show you um, the three different types of room. We have a bronze room, a silver room and a platinum room. So if you'd like to come with me, let me give you the tour of our fabulous building. So you can see here all of, this is our reception area. Um, it's a double height space. All of the common spaces in uh, Beckett House are, are double height spaces. So it gives you a lovely sense of light and space and um, uh, just lots of head space. A great place to live. Um, we have our post boxes here. Each apartment has their own post box. You have your key. Uh, any parcels that are delivered um, come to our reception and we send you a message just to let you know that your parcel is here so you can come and collect it. So if you'd like to come through this way, um, we have our courtyard. So um, we have three courtyard spaces, actually four. Um, so uh, this is the one on, on the ground floor. Um, in these days where everybody needs to um, meet, I suppose it's preferred that we meet in outdoor spaces. This is a great place. Um, you can see we have lots of seating area, so you'll be able to safely meet and uh, have fun with your friends. Um, so let's go this way and I'll bring you through to some of our facilities. So we have a gym, a movie room and a laundry room. So I'm going to use my key fob. Now when you check in, you get one of these. This will give you access to everywhere in the building, okay? Um, but only the people who live in your apartment can get into the apartment and only you can get into your bedroom. So this is really important uh, for here just to make sure. the hub of Beckett House. Um, so it is, this is our main common area. As you can see, double height space, lots of places for um, people to sit down and mingle. Um, a lot of students actually use this area to study as well, even though we have other areas that are formal study areas. Um, but let me show you some of the... we come back here in a little while. Let's go and have a look at the gym and the laundry room. If anybody has any questions, please um, just uh, type in your questions and uh, I'm only happy to answer. Um, we have um, we have a five-man facilities team who are here 24-7. Um, they are available to help you um, if your drain is clogged or... Got you, okay. okay. Great, sorry guys, we're having such um, difficult uh, technical issues, um, but we're back. <laughs> so uh, we're just about to go into the bronze room. Thank you for staying with us, I really appreciate it. Um, we're very, as I said, we're very proud of our building and we're only delighted to show it off. So this is a bronze room. So this is our starter level room. The bronze, silver and platinum rooms, um, the, the, the rates are dependent on the floor size. So um, the bronze room uh, is about uh, 12 and a half meters squared, and then we go up to the platinum room, which is our largest rooms, and they are uh, 22 meters squared. So this is our bronze room. As you can see, it's a lovely, bright, airy room. We have floor to ceiling uh, windows, so you have lots of light. Um, we also have blackout curtains, so if you don't want the light, you can block that out. Lots of storage, um, as a lovely fine big bed, 
Um, as you can see here, there's USB uh, fittings on all of the plugs so you can charge your phone safely. Um, we've underbed storage. Um, all of the, the storage is all soft closed, so there's no banging of, um, of drawers or um, just be respectful of your neighbours. We also have um, light switches here. So you can control your lights from your bed and we've lots of sockets underneath the um, desk so no need to use extension cables to show plenty there. Um, you control the heating also in your room. So you can see here there's a little unit and you can uh, boost the heat um, and you control the heat then. So then this is the ensuite bathroom. Every single bedroom in Beckett House has an ensuite bathroom. Um, all of them are the same except for the platinum rooms which have slightly bigger ones. Um, as you can see there, there's a lovely big shower. Um, everything is done with these wipe down surfaces so everything is really easily cleaned. Um, there's a non-slip floor um, and it's properly ventilated and everything so there's no issues with getting steam out of the, out of the bathroom. Okay, and you can see here you have storage as well for your um, coats and stuff. And just, just to, everything in the Beckett house is designed to give you a sense of space. So as I said, floor to ceiling, glass windows. Um, and also if you notice here, the, the door just runs off at a or the wall runs off at a slight angle. So that means when you come in the door, you've just got that extra little bit of space and that feeling of space when you enter your bedroom. Okay, so let me show you a silver room. So this is a six bedroom department. So you can see here, um, we have, uh, we're very conscious about fire safety. So we have regular checks on fire blankets that are in the kitchens and all our fire extinguishers. So there's a fire door here that separates the apartment into two. Um, and that's the purpose of that. So just in case you think it's weird to have a door in the middle of the corridor. Um, so this is, is our silver. So as you can see, this is a slightly bigger room. These are from, uh, silver rooms are about 13 and a half meters squared to 14 meters squared. Some of them vary. Um, so you can see here, there's a slightly different window. Um, I love these windows. I think they're like a modern bay window. Um, I think it would be a lovely spot to put a, uh, um, like the bean bag and sit and read your book and bask in the sunlight. Um, as you can see, notice board, you've got your USB. Again, you have your um, control for your lights here by the bed and your heat. Um, and again, lots and lots and lots of storage. And everything is soft clothes. So nothing is going to be banging. Okay. And again, underneath the bed, um, there's also a panel underneath the mattress. If you've got a really large suitcase that won't fit through that opening, you can actually lift most of the bed frame up and put in and store any large suitcases that you may have. You've also got a lovely desk space, your chair, um, and again, drawers and lots of sockets. Okay, has anybody got any questions or? No, no none yet, okay. Big window. So, <laughs> if you like the big window, yeah, it's, it's a lovely window. and. What's nice as well is because it's a nice big window, um, obviously you can't open it fully because we're on, on higher floors, but um, because of the design of the windows, there's lots of air that moves or circulates throughout the room. Um, so they're not only bright, they're airy. It's loud in the building. Hmm? Pets. Pets. Dogs. Oh, the pets, yeah. Uh, so we don't allow pets in the building. Um, we have, uh, th that's why we have to a degree our, our house pets that come to work um, with us because um, it, it's with other students that might have allergies and stuff like that, that's why we don't um, allow pets in the building. But um, the two boys, uh, Willoughby and Gizmo, are here every day and they're more than willing to spend time with everybody. Okay, so again, the bathroom in the 
silver is the same as that that's in the brass. Um, again, fine big bathroom. And uh, a nice feature is that um, something that I hate is when you go to a hotel and you have to climb in the shower to turn on the shower and you get drowned in water. Here you can actually turn the tap on and the water is away from you so you can actually do that. Which is good. Okay. So the windows don't fully open um, because of the, well, for two reasons. One, from a security perspective, if you're on the ground floor. And then as you go up through the building from a height perspective, um, you know, obviously for safety reasons, the windows don't open fully. So they all open about, I think it's about three or four inches. Um, and because they're pivoted, you get a really good circulation. So there's no actual need for them to open fully. We all, all of our rooms are single occupancy. Um, we don't have any twin rooms uh, in Beckett House. So, let me bring you now. Oh, but your friends are welcome. Um, now, in the current situation, things might be a little bit different. But under normal circumstances, our rules with regard to guests are that you can have a guest stay over two nights in a week period. That week goes from Saturday to um, uh, Friday. Um, and you can, so what some students do is their friends come and stay for the weekend because it's two weeks from one week and two or two days from the other. So um, guests are more than welcome. Um, we actually pride ourselves on the fact that our students um, feel comfortable and feel at home here that they can bring their friends um, either into their apartment or we do have a community kitchen as well and a lot of our students would bring their friends in and they would cook a big meal and you know it's lovely to see we have a big uh, dining table in our common area um, so they can cook in the community kitchen and then gather around the dining table in the common area um, and it's lovely to see. Um, we actually, uh, for Christmas uh, this year, we had quite a lot of students who were still in, um, who stayed here over the Christmas period. Um, and we had 52 people sit down for dinner in the common area. The students brought the tables from their apartments and some of the students um, actually cooked. Um, so it was a wonderful, wonderful event. It was great. Um, and um, this is the uh, kitchen living space. So the kitchen living spaces are um, proportionate to the number of rooms. So it, this is a six bed apartment. So there's enough here for six people, plenty of storage, two fridges, two cookers, um, two microwaves. Um, we have some eight bedroom departments and those kitchens are slightly bigger. And then we have four bedroom departments and those kitchen areas are slightly smaller. Um, you can see all of these flashbacks are um, this uh, glass. So it's really easy to clean, um, unlike tiles and grouting, these, this is really, really easy to clean. Um, we also have our bins, which are um, all the handles on them and they're front loading. So they're stackable and you can bring them down and just lift the handle and carry them down to the bins. How many people is this for? So this is for a six people would be in this apartment. So you've got six chairs, two fridges, uh, two cookers and two hobs and two microwaves. All of the TVs are smart TVs and they're all um, wired so that you can get access to the internet directly through the TV. Um, and you can see here again, you've wall to ceiling or floor to ceiling and windows. Again, just give you lots of light and then the blackout curtains if you're watching a movie and don't want the light. A um, couple of nice things as well. If you're sitting in this area, you can actually turn the lights off here um, if you're watching TV. Okay, so I'm going to bring you now um, to our platinum room. Um, which is in another apartment, so we'll just make our way there now. Um, you can see there as you're going again, everything here is soft clothes, so if people are in the kitchen late at night, um, if they don't disturb your roommates. Okay. Do you have any cleaning services? So currently, um, you, the students need to, um, the cleaning is, their responsibility. Um, we have, uh, we, we can recommend um, 
uh, certain companies that we work with to provide you with cleaning services, but it's not currently part of the package that we have. Um, I suppose it's part of the experience, the first time to live away from home, to actually, you know, um, learn how to do the cleaning yourself, and, you know, it's, it's, it's part of the experience. Okay. So, on each floor you have your lift, and also you've got your um, stairwell. So, um, everything is easily accessible. So, this is a platinum room that we're going to now. And just to point out as well, you may have noticed these phones on the wall. So these are intercom systems to our reception area. So if you need to contact reception in an emergency, or your phone isn't working, or for whatever reason, you can actually contact our reception using these phones. There are uh, seven floors with rooms in them, and then the eighth floor is our study and roof chairs. So, welcome to our platinum room. As you can see, this room is 22 meters squared. Um, it's a very large room. Um, it's a stunning room, I think. <laughs> myself. Um, so you can see the bed is is the same as in the other rooms, but the floor space is a lot more full floor space, um, a lot more storage. There's additional shelves, um, and you've got a slightly different design with your desk. But again, everything here is soft close. You've got the USB um, fixtures on the sockets again. And also you can control the lights from your bed. Okay. So this is, this room is uh, a platinum disability access room. So the, you'll notice some features maybe that you wouldn't be expecting. For example, these windows um, have handles that turn, um, so you can open the windows a little bit uh, wider here. Um, and the bathroom uh, has a slightly different, uh, it's more like a wet room. Um, so let me show you that. Do you want to do the wardrobe? Oh, sorry. And before we do that, let me show you the wardrobe as well. So you can see loads and loads of storage space. Again, everything is soft closed. Um, and then you have additional storage here in the platinum room. Okay? Full size mirror. Yeah, full size mirror. Okay. So then um, you can see here there's some different fittings in this. So this is more like a wet room than, um, I think this is a fabulous size bathroom. Um, and you have loads of extra space here. We can remove the, um, I, you may have noticed that there was a seat in the shower, obviously it's, it's, it's fitted for uh, somebody who, with wheelchair accessible, but we can, um, we can remove the seat for you, should you wish. Okay. I hope you agree with me that this is a fabulous room. I, I just think um, between the light and the space, it's just, it's, it's quite like, it's almost like a studio apartment, I think. And that'll give you a view of the rest of the building. Um, as you can see, um, those kind of bay windows as you go throughout the building. Okay. Um, so, as you see again, you've got the plugs with the USB and you've also got your control and also your lights controlled by the bed. Okay? And then your other light control as you just come in the door. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now... Do you have an elevator in each block? So we do, yes. So we have two blocks in, um, in Beckett House, Block A and Block B. Um, we're currently in Block A, which is towards the front of the building and faces easterly. Uh, and then um, the back of the building is Block B. Um, we have an elevator in each block. So all of the beds are 
beds are the same size. Um, they are a small double bed. They are four foot wide or just a, about a metre and a half, two metres. Um, so it's not quite a full double bed, um, but as you can see, they're a large single bed. It would be bigger than a single bed. Um, the heating is, you can see the heaters are mounted on the wall and then you have control of um, the heating yourself with this control panel here. No, anybody can use this room. You don't have to be disabled to use this room. Um, it's just that, uh, to, to be honest with you, we're required under law to have a certain number of rooms that are equipped for people with disabilities. Um, so, um, but you don't have to have a disability to, to, to have to this room. Um, and I, I do think the, the bathroom, although it's designed for somebody with a disability, it's, as I said, essentially a wet room, and I think it's, it's fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to take you now to our study area. Um, so black why is that oh beautiful hold on somebody got you okay oh, okay okay so we're back we're back thank goodness sorry for the delay um again just as we were moving around the building with some technical problems so we? this is our rooftop terrace i think this is the most amazing space i love this and um, this is open 24 7 um we have a sound barrier um glass here so there's no issues with being up here late at night um, this is the most wonderful space to be in. Um, if you're a little bit stressed out, uh, studying for exams, and you know, it's one o'clock in the morning, you need some headspace, you need some fresh air, you don't want to be wandering around um, the city centre at night, you can come up here, um, there's lights on during the, at night time here, and it's just the most wonderful space. Let's walk down a little bit and you can see some of the views. Um, so we've got... Uh, to our right here, we have Dublin Bay. It's a fabulous day. You should be able to see all the way out to the Irish Sea. 22 degrees. And if you scroll to the left, you'll see that's um, uh, our Crow Park, where all of the Irish national sports are played. Um, and then as you scroll around, you can see the whole of the city. And on the left there, as you go around, you'll be able to see some of the old church spires. And uh, in the distance, you can see Guinnesses and the Dublin Mountains. So on a day like today, it's absolutely glorious. But even when it's cold, um, we have the... Um, some students come up here. We have blankets that we can give you the loan of and you can come up and get some fresh air regardless of what the weather is like. Um, and this the glass gives a lot of shelter. Um, it's a very breezy today. Um, today which is, um, but, um, yeah. um, so this is the eighth floor. This is level eight. So as I said, uh, we have um, we've bedrooms and apartments on every um, have a um, gas barbecue and so all we ask is that you know a uh, little bit of notice and uh, our facilities team will help or supervise <laughs> to make sure everything is good um, and yeah you can have a barbecue up here yeah. so, um, 
actually quite a lot of our students come up here to do their yoga, uh, especially um, uh, when the weather is like this. Where we are at the moment at the rear of the roof terrace is our smoking area. Um, you can see there we have the ashtrays. Um, so this is the designated smoking area. Uh, and from, um, from this point forward then is the non-smoking. Um, but yeah, we, have, we also have lots of games. So we have giant Jenga, we have uh, Twister, all those kind of fashion games that you can come up here on the rooftop and play. But you can imagine doing yoga or tai chi up here. It's just the most perfect location for that. yoga, we have our um, DJ, we have our uh, quiz nights, so lots of different things going on just to make sure everybody gets, you know, still keeps that sense of community that we're so proud of that we have in this building. Um, we also, uh, a lot of our students would, um, uh, our international students, but over a third of the students that live with us are from China. So Chinese New Year is a massive big deal here. Um, so the whole place is decorated and festooned and we have events and it's just the most wonderful time. We, 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 we love that. So um, if you want to come this way, as I'm walking into the um, I'll bring you in to show you the study area. You can see there's some lavender growing there. So students can plant herbs or whatever they wish on, on that uh, terrace. Okay, so this way here then will bring us into, so we're still on level eight, and this is where our study areas are. Okay, we have another rooftop, somebody So we have two rooftops in total, the, that big rooftop that we've just been on, and a smaller one on level seven. Okay, we have three different types. So this first area is a very informal area. Um, a lot of the students use it for collaboration work or um, team projects, stuff like that. Then next door to that, we have, um, it's more like a, an, another collaborative room, but it's more um, for group work. Um, and then... Finally, but not least, last but not least, is we have a formal study area with desks. So, so where we're located in Beckett House, we are uh, a four-minute walk from the main thoroughfare in the city, which is O'Connell Street. Um, on O'Connell Street, the majority of bus routes would go through. O'Connell Street. Um, it's also four minutes from the uh, tram. Uh, it's four minutes from the tram. Um, so if you, uh, so we, we're on the north side of the city. Uh, for example, if you're going to college in RCSI, um, if you time it right, you can get from here to RCI, RCSI in less than 10 minutes with the tram. Um, it's literally three, I think it's three stops on the tram. Um, but you can, uh, I've done it myself in actually 
six minutes I've gotten from here to RCSI, left here, got on the tram, straight there. And it drops you straight to the door. And to, you're passing Trinity um, on the way. So you can either, um, depending on what part of the campus in Trinity you're in, um, we're literally no more than 10 minute walk from any part of the Trinity campus. Um, so we also have our printing facility. Um, so this is, uh, so you, you pay for these, I think it's uh, five cents per page um, for, for color prints. So uh, the other colleges that are nearby are, um, we have uh, DIT Calgary Street, uh, we have the New Grange Gorman campus, um, we also have, um, uh, we're basically centrally located in the city centre. So any of the uh, universities that are in the city centre, so the likes of uh, National College of Art and Design, Trinity, um, DCU, uh, although it's not in the city centre, we're, we're, we're nearby. Um, we're maybe 10 minutes on a bus from uh, DCU, maybe 15 minutes on a bus from DCU. Um, also from um, uh, the teacher training colleges, Mary Immaculate and uh, uh, the new DCU one as well, were, were less than 10 minutes um, on that. Uh, UCD then is accessible by bus from O'Connell Street and it takes about 20 minutes, um, even in rush hour traffic because the buses have the bus lanes, so it's easily accessible. We also have uh, right beside us um, you, the uh, rent-a-bike schemes. So you can literally, you just pay a few euro and hop on a bike and there's different locations throughout the city that you can um, actually drop off the bike. If you want to buy your own bike, we actually have a deal. There's a, a bike store just uh, beside us here and um, they sell and buy secondhand bikes. So we've done a deal with them. We have a huge amount of bike storage here. We have enough bike storage for everybody in the village to have their bike. Uh, but you can go to this shop nearby, buy your bike for the year that you're staying here and living here, and then at the end of the year, the shop have guarantees that they'll buy the bike back, which is a great scheme. So to book it, um, you need to go onto our website and register, and, uh, and then probably the best thing to do is have a chat with us. Um, just uh, uh, have a chat with you homes about what is available, you know, what room would suit you, um, would a bronze room suit you, do you, need, you know, for example, if you're studying photography and you have lots of equipment, do you need a bigger room? So have a chat with um, the good people at you homes and they'll be able to um, direct you on how, how to, to make your booking and um, how to find the room that best suits you to live here. So um, also just to let you know, we have lots of local cafes and shops. Um, we have an insomnia on the corner and there's a wonderful uh, artisan um, uh, restaurant just opposite and uh, with a pizza oven that came all the way from Italy. Um, and they do special rates for students. Um, and we also are in the heart of the Asian community in Dublin. So we have a lot of shops and um, uh, restaurants uh, literally within a four or five minute walk from here. So uh, I, I, I believe somebody just asked a question about is the start dates. Um, given the current circumstances, uh, what we are doing is there will be flexible start dates and it will be determined by what your university you're doing. So for example, we understand the Trinity are starting uh, towards the end of September. So the start date for your term will be the end of September. So it, it depends on what university that you're in. But again, the um, U Homes will be able to advise you as to you know, what flexibility is there and, and, and what you can do. Um, so we also have, um, again, a, a lot of people I think are interested in semesters um, rather than the full year because of the way the, the colleges or universities are working. So we do have semester one and semester two available. Semester two starts in January um, and semester one will be dependent again on the universities and when they're all starting. All right. Um, thank you so much for all these questions. This is amazing. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring you back down to um, our common area and we might spend a little bit more time with the dogs 
and uh, you get to know them a little bit better. So um, please keep coming with these questions. Uh, again, if we get in the lift, we're probably going to lose you. So please just bear with us. And uh I think it's all yeah. Okay. So just to point out as well, we have all of our um fire extinguishers and everything are put are all throughout the building. Um, all of our team are trained fire wardens um, and you may notice this, <laughs> for those of you who are interested, um, these are the venting systems, um, so everything in the building with regard is, is state of the art, um, both our building management system and how we manage our fire safety. Okay, we may lose you again guys, so please, please, please stay with us. Um, I keep talking just in case we don't lose um, any of that kind of stuff. The team are only more than willing to help out. And for the technical difficulties, we're back in our reception area. Um, that's just been a brief tour of our building. Um, and uh, I just want to, we just say a final goodbye. Oh, we have a question. How much So, security room, how much? Oh, so um, to the way that the um, uh, to so anything to do with your booking or your reservation, if you talk to you homes, um, your agent there will be able to help you with all of those questions. Um, and what I just want to do now is just to say a, a final goodbye and meet and greet with our dog. Okay. Um, somebody else has just come through with a question in the building 24 hours 7. So um, earlier on we met some of our facilities team. The facilities team are here 24 7. Um, so they may not be at reception but they will be in the building. And there's a telephone number that you can call them. They're available at, at all times. Um, as I said, security is we have the, the FOB system, CCD cameras. It's very important. Okay. okay, one more time. Let's see the dog. Um. Sorry. <laughs> Can I have the baby? Oh. So. So as I said, this is the little gizmo. Um, gizmo is very <laughs> empathic. Um, the other Willoughby is literally a puppy. Come on, Willoughby. I'm going to bring him over here and sit up on the couch. <laughs> no. Come on, come on. Come on, sit. Come on, come on, sit. Say hello to everybody. So, say hello. So, this is what they really like to do. All they want to do is sit on people's laps and have cuddles and tell stories and listen to everybody else's story. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. Um, I'm so glad that you took the time. Uh, I'm sorry we had so many <laughs> technical difficulties, but we got there in the end. If you have any questions, feel free, free to um, talk to um, your U Homes agent. And um, thank you again. Have a wonderful day.